protrusion is one aspect of jaw movement. What is the other aspect? Movement into the lateral direction, that is your lateral excursion. All right? Now the edge value is in a horizontal plane, and that is why when we are talking front and back condylar movement, we are talking about the edge value. When we are moving into a lateral direction, the edge value becomes an important determinant, but it has a sister concern that goes with it. And that sister concern is this inner angle. Appreciate this. Mandible is going into left lateral. I hope everyone can see me. Uh, Sampada, if you can shift the chair, please, onto this one. Yes, are we comfortable? Mandible is going towards the left. Okay? So the left side becomes my functional side. Right side becomes the non-functional side. Functional side, why? Khana right pe, left pe rakha, mandible left pe ja ke chew karega. So that becomes the functional side. When the mandible goes to the left, the working side condyle, which is your left condyle, the motion that it does is rotation. It purely rotates. How does earth move? Earth rotates. So the working condyle is earth. It rotates. The right side condyle will physically move forward, downward, very importantly, inward. A mandible is one single unit, right? See this? Forward, downward, and inward. This inward movement is determined by an angle. Appreciate this. Rotation here, forward, downward, and inward movement along this angle. So if I were to drop a vertical and measure this angle, this angle is called as the lateral condylar guidance angle, which is designated by the letter L, also referred to as the Bennett angle, which on an average is about 15 degrees. Alright, so we have two condylar guidance angles that we need to know. Watch is one is the edge value, which is the principal determinant, and there is an L value which is less significant but significant also. Is this clear? H and L? Correct? Yes, anyone with a doubt up to this point? <laughs> 